It is a beautiful morning. The sun is just coming up, and on a morning like this, it is hard to remember that there is an ecological disaster that's happening off the coast of California. But in order to show you how bad it's gotten, we're gonna take you underneath down here to show you how good it's supposed to be. This is one of the best kelp forests here in California. Let's suit up. But before we could get in the water in this protected cove, right next to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, just over there, family of sea otters. It's extremely rare to see them uh, out here in the kelp. We were surrounded by visitors. <laughs> this area is teeming with life. About 3,600. Once the coast was clear, we geared up and descended into an underwater world. One of the most protected natural kelp forests on the West Coast. It feels so much like we're on a different planet. It's like being in a forest on land. Dr. Josh Smith has been studying this fragile ecosystem for years. Everywhere we look, all the way up to the surface. So majestic down here. The kelp can grow up to 100 feet tall. Look at how tall this kelp is. A foot and a half a day. Here in California, everyone talks about the redwood forest, but right off the coast of some areas, you've got a forest that's like that underwater. And suddenly, we were making new friends. Sea lions checking us out and trying to steal the show. Absolutely incredible. Just incredible. But here, the real stars of this ecosystem are the elusive sea otters. A recent study by the Monterey Bay Aquarium reviewing historical records found that those otters have been a cornerstone to protecting the environment. Sea otters are really important predators in the ecosystem. And in the Central Coast, they've been working overtime to try to protect the kelp forests from an invasion of purple sea urchins brought on by warming waters and a die-off of sea stars. The sea otters are helping to keep those urchins under control so that they don't come storming out of the crevices and, and shift forest to bear. They're like the game wardens of the forest. <laughs> yeah, they do tend to keep sea urchin populations under control. But those sea urchin feasting otters are endangered, hunted to almost extinction in the 1800s, and have all but disappeared from California's northern and southern coasts. And in their limited numbers, they can only do so much to stop the sea urchin infestation. We went under in a different spot to see just how much damage those purple urchins were causing. Hey, it looks like we're in a desert, and you've got these purple polka dots all across the seafloor here. That's right. The reef is covered with purple sea urchins. They're these baseball-sized, tiny animals that like to eat kelp. And here, they've come out of the crevices, and they're just storming around the reef looking for any kelp that they can find. But there's no kelp here. They've eaten it all. The crisis reaching a boiling point 10 years ago when a major marine heat wave ravaged the kelp. And they completely transformed the reef surface here to what we call a sea urchin barren. And you can just look here and see what the consequences are of that. Coming up after seeing the kelp forest, it, it's, it's kind of depressing to see the barren like that. How much of the kelp here in California has been lost? Right here in Monterey Bay, We've lost about 70% or so of kelp forests, so the kelp has been substantially uh, reduced in this area. At Monterey Bay Aquarium, Hi, otters. Hi, otters. we've been researching ways to tackle the problem for years, even taking us along on sea otter rehabilitation missions. All right. But to Executive Director Julie Packard, California's kelp forests are the true wonders of the sea. When people come and see the exhibit, they see the kelp, what do you want them to take away from it? I just want them to be bowled over by beauty and just the wonder of nature. The aquarium's kelp forest display a centerpiece of the work that they do. We share the planet with such incredible and intriguing life. It's up to us to make sure that we take action. For now, preserved behind glass and protected in the bay as biologists continue to search for solutions in the sea. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.